Here we have the Dell Inspiron 13 5000 series. Now on this channel, we obsess over good design. We are often trying to find products that are so like seamless to use that they just sort of disappear on your desk or on your wrist. Basically something that you don't, it's a piece of technology, you don't really know you're using it just because it's so intuitive and so damn good. Well, we often have people asking us, not just if they should buy a Mac or a PC, but also if there's any kind of Mac uh, alternative on the PC. And I think today we may have found the MacBook Air killer. Now we're very big fans of the MacBook Air on this channel. We find it to be like almost the best all around computer for like 90% of people. It's fast, it's, it's lightweight, it's built well, it's just a great, great little computer. But of course Dell isn't gonna take that laying down. Now this machine starts at $870. You could probably find it a little bit cheaper on sale, but nevertheless, for that 870 bucks, you get an i5 11th generation processor. You get a 512 gigabyte NVMe solid state drive, which is upgradable. You get eight gigabytes of RAM, which is upgradable. And then you also get the Intel XE graphics card, which is paired with a gorgeous 13.3 inch QHD, which is basically a 2K display, non-touch IPS wide viewing angle, narrow bezel as if I guess that's important these days. Dis display. So what's it like to use all of that, all of those specs? Well, it's fantastic. Let me dive a little bit deeper into it. First off, the display on this thing is absolutely amazing. I really love the fact that Dell put a 2K QHD display in this computer. Uh, I really hope that that starts becoming the, the, the norm. Now, obviously it won't. We're probably still several years away from the 2K displays kind of overtaking the 1080p panels, especially since most manufacturers are only now beginning to make FHD the default. But nevertheless, you've got a beautiful crisp display with wide viewing angles on it. It's one of those things where you can, it's bright and it's matte. So if you're like outside on a college campus or near a bright sunny window, you won't have any issues with the light reflecting off of the screen. And it's one of those things where if you've got like your friends around you, basically like watching a movie or something like that, you got Netflix, Hulu or something like that on, you'll have no problem because it's just, every, just everything looks so crisp and clear. The blacks are very deep, the whites are very true, color accuracy is very, very good. All in all, it's just a top-notch display. You've got a beautiful, very accurate, very tactile, comfortable to use keyboard. The keys just feel sort of like sturdy and but just good to type on. They've got a backlight on them, which is a nice little touch. And as far as the trackpad is concerned, even though it's kind of like on the medium size as far as trackpads are concerned these days, it's not nearly as big as the one that they put in the MacBook Air or MacBook Pros, but nevertheless, it's got good multi-gesture support. It's responsive, it doesn't ghost that bad. It just, you know, it just kind of goes where you want it to. All in all, great trackpad. We give the keyboard a 10 out of 10 and the trackpad an eight out of 10. That, those are some pretty damn good specs so far. If you ask me, watch out Apple. And then the Achilles heel for most computers are the speakers. And I gotta tell you, even though this, the speakers are, if anything, a little tinny, but sort of full bodied. They have good highs, mediums, and lows. They don't really distort. They get pretty loud. They're tuned very, very well. All in the speakers on this computer are fairly, I wouldn't say impressive, but they're very, very good. They'll be great for a podcast. They'll be great for watching a movie with your friends and they can definitely handle some music in a pinch as well. But if you're doing any kind of like audio editing or you're an audiophile and you want that beautiful high fidelity, you will probably still want a set of headphones. Nevertheless, we're very impressed. We are, we are impressed in the fact that Dell didn't put cheap quality speakers in this laptop. They did a nice job there as well. Let's talk about features of the Dell Inspiron. 13. It comes with a little webcam at the top with a dual microphone array and a little, little privacy shutter there just, you know, in case you want to walk around naked in your bedroom and, and not have to, you know, worry about Mark Zuckerberg looking at you through the webcam. Again, it has a backlight on the keyboard. It has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 for the latest and greatest fastest wireless technology. And while it doesn't have a Windows Hello compatible camera, it does have a Windows Hello compatible fingerprint reader. And it has Thunderbolt 4 on it, which is very, very impressive. And I'm gonna get into that a little bit more later. They also claim that this has low blue light on the panel, on the display here. And while we've never officially tested that or anything, we did find that long-term use with this display didn't leave our eyes fatigued at all. We can't really comment on it's like melatonin 
reproduction and if we like felt like if we could get to sleep or better at night but nevertheless we still felt like looking at the dis this display was just very very good if i can i can i drive home the display anymore great display low blue light blocking trademark 1997. dell claims the battery life on this thing is 11 hours we were only practically able to get somewhere around the 10 hour mark but we still find that that's a very respectable number and the fact is is that you can charge this puppy on usb-c which a lot of like traveling people are going to enjoy that way they don't have to have as many adapters and power cords and weird crap in their bag they just have they just have the one nice usb-c charger and while we're on the subject of charging it um no it doesn't run on solar energy but it does have two usb super speed ports here usb-c ports rather and uh, they are thunderbolt 4 compatible which is awesome and then hdmi full size so if you like want to plug this thing into a projector you should have no issues there one little kind of funny thing about the full size hdmi is that if you look at the the side profile of the laptop because it's so thin towards the front they had to put the hdmi port kind of at the back where you would normally find the power charging port which um you know doesn't really do anything or change anything but we just kind of thought it was an interesting little thing that they had to take the thickest port and put it at the thickest part of the computer and then on this side you do have a traditional usb super speed port this one's got a little talking like mouth on it, kind of like some of the ethernet jacks have. It's kind of a cool thing. I don't know why Apple doesn't really do this on their laptops. You know, it's a very good way to put a thick port on a thin laptop. Just sort of has this, you know, again, little springy action. And then you have your headphone jack where you can plug in your headphones. And for those that are wondering, this is about as wide open as the laptop gets. Certainly more than fine for tabletop usage. You're not gonna really need a whole lot more opening than that. As far as benchmarks are concerned on the Dell and Spiron, we have on user benchmark, gaming at a 28, desktop at a nuclear submarine rating of 91, and workstation as 25%. Now, what do these numbers mean to, in layman's terms? What does this mean? That means that if you are using this laptop for day-to-day -day tasks, such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, multiple Chrome and Firefox tabs, Outlook, basically doing all the office crap like zoom and all those things this computer will be able to knock that stuff out with flying colors as far as gaming is concerned you should be able to play things like minecraft and fortnite and some of the like maybe like less in graphically intense games but there is something worth noting about this laptop i really don't think that you should buy this computer with any kind of gaming in mind even though it might be somewhat capable and the reason why is because this has a 2K panel in it. Basically, this QHD screen, 2K display, means that the graphics card in there, the Intel XE card, is really going to have to drive a lot of horsepower. And it just simply doesn't have it. So if you were to down-res your games to 1080, then you should be able to play them okay. But just this laptop just is simply not designed for intense gaming. And the 2K display is one of those things that prevents it from doing that. Having said that though, I would absolutely rather have the 2K display in this computer than have it be more capable for gaming. Once you get a once you look at the high resolution displays, you just basically never want to go back. They're just, they're just fantastic. Uh, however, though, if you're using this thing for any kind of video editing, such as 4K compressed or 1080, you should have no problems there either. Using this thing for Photoshop or Lightroom, uh, basically if you're like, let's say, um, taking like a photographer and taking pictures and editing on the fly or on site, this computer will be absolutely perfect for that. The beautiful crisp color accurate display will just be a dream to edit your photos on. Uh, maybe even like show clients or something like that. So, you know, effectively you take a picture, load it on, show it to them and they'll go, ah, you're a really okay photographer. And then as far as doing audio processing on this thing, I think that this computer would be dynamite as like a mobile podcasting computer. Uh, basically, you've got the uh, Thunderbolt 4 ports on here, which will allow you to plug in microphones, a switch, a hub, any of that kind of stuff where you can sort of just create this awesome sort of mobile studio setup, which would be really, really great. And it just has, again, the horsepower to do that. So who is this computer for? Well, again, we think that it is for people that are um, maybe like your traveling journalist uh, or just a somebody that travels in and out of airports quite a bit and they need something that's sort of built well and robust. The frame on this computer is made out of full aluminum and it just feels strong and good. It's just sturdy. We feel that it will hold up well with abuse 
and patina nicely as well. Probably a student would be very, would be very, very well off with this computer. Again, something that's kind of quick, nimble, powerful light, can throw it in a backpack, move around campus. Battery life on it is fine, but when you need, uh, when you need that little hit of energy, you just you just pop in a USB-C charger, which everybody has. Um, I think that this is definitely for audio editors or like people that are doing audio editing, like either on site, on the fly, that kind of thing, or probably also uh, photographers, people that are doing photography on site and they want, they want to have their laptop there for editing purposes. I don't really think that this is a video editing machine, but you could do some video editing on it. And I don't really think that you should buy this thing for gaming because the 2K display is just, it's just a little too much for the graphics card to handle. But again, you could, you could, you could do some gaming, just, just not a lot of intense gaming. Anyway, that is the Dell Inspiron 13 5000 series. Fantastic computer. We highly recommend it. And for all of those that are wondering, will this computer, is this computer better than the MacBook Air? No, I don't think that it is. I still think that the MacBook Air is probably the best absolute laptop that you can get for 90% of people. But that said, if you refuse to get the MacBook Air and you really, really want to get the Dell and Spiron, uh, this is a fantastic machine. You will absolutely love it and have a great experience with it. The fan on this computer is also very, very quiet and it sort of adjusts itself based on how intense you're using it. Um, but yeah, just get it. Great computer. We recommend it highly. If you have any questions about this machine, please feel free to reach out to us in the comments section. Please like and subscribe, and we will be back with another video really soon.